I'm back working on the Chevrolet. Uh, what I'm gonna do today is start by cleaning off all the uh, pieces. So I'm gonna start cleaning off the timing cover here and the oil pan. Um, I got the parts all here, so um, I'm ready to start getting it all back together. So I'm gonna just take this off that I put in there just really easily and the oil pan. And then I'm going to take them out and clean them off. Um, I got some brake cleaner and brushes to, you know, it's not too bad, but I'll, I'll clean it off. Make sure the surfaces are clean because these take the silicone so they don't have a gasket on there. So that's what I'm going to get started with today. Music bed. So the block side is all clean. Um, I got the chain in there, so I'm going to put the oil pump on there now. And then I cleaned up the timing cover uh, pretty good. I mean, I don't have like a parts wash or anything, but clean it by hand. It's nice and clean. I replaced all the O-rings on the sensors here. Um, this middle one and then this seal here in the center. So um, that one's good to go. And I, you know, the main thing is to clean the surface here where you're going to put the RTV silicone. So, um, same here with this oil pan. Um, I did take the windows tray off and clean the bottom side, um, but I cleaned all around where the RTV silicone is. So, I seen some videos, and you know, I just want to mention it where if you have a four wheel drive, now two wheel drive, different, but. Um, some of the videos people say, well, you know, just drop the differential a little bit and drop the pan a couple inches to get the oil pump out. <coughs> Which, yes, that would work to get your oil pump out. But remember, there's no gasket on this pan. Yeah, there's an O-ring here for the oil pickup and for the cooler lines. But once you drop this pan, the RTV that they put factory, you know, you're going to break that seal. If you just bolt it back on, I mean, you're going to have a leak. All around so keep that in mind um, you know you you really you just have to pull it out if it had a gasket like the older engines then no big deal tighten it up more than likely it will seal if it was already leaking then you know it's gonna stay leaking a little bit but this one does there's no gasket it's just silicone so anyways uh, I'm gonna put the oil pump on the engine here it's just gonna be four bolts um, let me pull it out and show you. And here's that oil pump. Uh, this is a General Motors factory pump. So um, I am going to put some oil, uh, you know, in here where the pickup would be. Just make sure that it's in there. Uh, turn the gear a little bit before I install it. But it does come with new bolts. Now, I don't believe these are torque to yield bolts. Uh, but it does come with new bolts, so I'll leave them in there. And then when you buy the new oil pump, it comes with this solenoid here. So um, that code that I had, it's for this solenoid. You know, it, it was just said uh, stuck, I believe. Um, shorted or stuck, but, you know, and this is pretty inexpensive, I guess. But if you're going to pretty much do all this work to get everything out of the car or the truck, I would say you might as well. I mean, depending on your mileage, you might as well just throw in a new pump. Um, but that's just me, right? Uh, you could get this little solenoid, less expensive. I think that's maybe like $50 or so. Um, really where it gets pricey. I mean, the pump itself, I think it's like 140. So really the expensive part is gonna be your labor. Um, you know the gaskets and all those other things maybe your timing sets the other part that's a little expensive but anyways i'm gonna just line this up bolt it down torque it and then we'll start installing the timing cover
So the timing cover is put on there. Um, it's kind of finger tight. I'm just going to tighten it a little. Uh, well, I did go with the ratchet just slightly, but um, I'm not going to torque it quite yet. Um, what I'm going to do is get the oil pan in there, bolt it on, and then um, I'll probably get the harmonic balancer just to make sure. Although this cover, because each bolt has the little rubber um, grommets, so it's pretty much where it is. With the older engines, they didn't have those little grommets, so you kind of had to put the harmonic balancer in before you finish tying them. That way, it lined up that cover. So, um, but I do want to put the oil pan on there first. Uh, so I'll do that, and then I'll finish tying up all the bolts, um, and that'll give the silicone a little bit of time to kind of harden, and then finish the tying it up. So, um, with the oil pan, so you have the O-ring here for the oil pump the two for the cooler lines and then I'm gonna run the bead of silicone all around um, I'm gonna get some wire or something to pull some of the harness underneath the truck there just so that way I can grab this and you know it does have this lining pin on one side so as long as I can get this in there I just want to make sure I don't hit something and rub the silicone off and then I'm gonna get a leak so um, I'm gonna just kind of tighten up the harness to the side, put the silicone, the O-rings, drive it in there, put a couple bolts, and then I'll come back and do all the bolts around there. Um, and then I'll keep it a little bit of time before I finish tying it up. So um, I, I'm using this, the gray RTB silicone that came with the timing cover uh, kit. This stuff is pretty good, so that's what I'm using. It looks like that's what they had in there. Now one thing I'm doing here on the bottom is you know, before I come and put the oil pan on, I'm gonna make sure and wipe, you know, all these surfaces here where a little bit of oil has kind of dripped into them. Just making sure there's a clean surface um, for that RTV silicone to sit against. Um, I'll put a little bit extra here before I, before I put the oil pan on, on the little joint between the timing cover and the oil pan. Um, you know, I can see the silicone from before, but I put a little bit extra in there, even what's on the oil pan, um, and then some up here on the back too, because there's a back cover. Um, so these are the lines, the transmission cooler lines. I know I talked about them before. I'm just gonna get like a wire and move, you know, just tie them here a little bit so I don't have trouble sliding the pan in. Um, make sure that you plug in the solenoid here um, I'm gonna just make sure to plug this in really good um, this clip looks like it's kind of loose so I'm gonna just make sure it does clip in there well and then we'll get that oil panel So after the oil pan is on there, now it's not fully tight. Um, again, I just tied up a little bit with the ratchet. Um, everything is kind of made it together. Um, you know, the silicone's gonna squeeze out, so you know, remember that, I guess. Um, but before I finish, I'm gonna let the RTV silicone kind of harden up a little bit before I go and torque all the bolts down. Uh, what I'm going to do now is install the harmonic bouncer just to make sure that it's lined up in that uh, timing cover on the front. And so I went ahead and rented this tool. Um, I got this from AutoZone. That's the part number there, 57306. Uh, so this is the one I'm using here. This threads into the crankshaft. It's the same thread as the harmonic bouncer bolt, which is the M16 by 2.0. Um, and then you use this to, you know, tie up and push the harmonic balancer back in. So, um, previous on the other engines, I mean, I used the bolt, you know, you, although it's kind of deep, so sometimes you have to put the harmonic balancer in there and find a way to kind of 
hit it in to get it to go in enough for this to grab and then you have to really you know tighten this up into it drives all the way in uh, it's supposed to be easier with this tool so i'm gonna find out i'll let you guys know um the tool it's 68 uh but you get your money back once you take it back to the auto parts store so that's a nice thing i almost buy it so if you're gonna you know if you work on these cars you might as well just buy it um you can get it on amazon for about 30 dollars it's the exact same tool oem uh, they have some cheaper ones but this one comes with all the different bolts for different vehicles so. uh, you know and i almost bought it because i don't have a general motor vehicles but my family they all have them and i'm always working on these so if i have to do another one i am gonna just buy the tool but for now i just rented it so um, i'm gonna set you guys down and see if i can get this pulley installed in here um once this is installed, then I'll start, uh, you know, by that time, I'll probably just start tying up all the uh, timing cover bolts and the oil pan bolts, and then we'll go from there. balance are all in there um this one went in pretty pretty easy um i don't know if it's because of the tool or just uh the way this one's designed but it just went right in so no problem with that um the tool made it pretty pretty quick so uh you know nice thing to have the one i had a really tough time was with the 6.2 cadillac um and i don't think that even had a keyway on it but it just went in almost like it pressed in to the end of the crankshaft and man that was tight um, so I don't know but uh, in any case uh, you know it's I uh, given enough time for the RTV to kind of dry a little bit I'm gonna finish tying up these timing cover bolts I'll finish the oil pan bolts underneath and then I'm gonna start kind of bolting everything up around there underneath uh, remember you took this covers off uh, one goes on the starter side and then on the opposite side um, the transmission to oil pan bolts here um, I'll put those back on there there was the bracket for the transmission cooler lines that went in one of these I believe and then um, pretty much I think that's it underneath I'm just making sure the actually the um, dipstick goes in the pan and then I'll start um, I'll probably grab the differential, front differential, and start putting it on there. So I got everything bound up underneath. Um, one thing, I recommend putting a new gasket for the oil cooler line. Um, this one did not come with that timing cover. Uh, with the timing cover set though, you do get this uh, gasket, which is for this here air pump that these uh, engines come with so um, one thing I will recommend uh, I know I took it off prior um, but I will recommend is putting this air pump on before you put the uh, differential on because you have a lot of room to do it from underneath um, you know just to get to all the bolts I know I, I was able to do it from the top but uh, since I have a lot more room now I'm gonna bolt it on now and that way it's easier um, I don't have to kind of, you know, reach around to do the bolts with everything on so I can do them from the bottom. So I'm going to get this on there first and then I'll get the differential on. 
Okay, I have everything, uh, you know, the air pump, like I said, from down here, I can get to this back bolts really easy. Um, so I recommend doing it now. Um, everything else is all bolted up, um, all cool line and everything. So I'm good to get the differential in here and then the rack and pinion. Now, before I do that, um, I'm gonna change the bank, well, bank one and bank two, but the first oxygen sensors, um and that's just because this truck had codes for that uh, because someone had removed the cats from here and they i mean if you can see i'm not sure if you can see this plug here um but there's no it's missing like the everything you see here it's just the it's really hard maybe to see but it just has like the pins in there you know it's missing the whole thing to the plug and so you know i mean that there's one thing um the oxygen sensor on this side which is up here actually that's the bad you know the upstream um that thing was unplugged from right here um and so i don't know if that's why we have cups in there but uh, I'm, I just got a new one, so I'm going to just switch those out real quick. Uh, just since, you know, the draft shell's a little out of the way and everything, I'll get those done real quick, and then I'll get that differential. All right, so I got the differential, rack and pinion all done. Um, got the steering shaft on there. Uh, definitely, if you have some help to lift the differential, makes it easier. Same with the rack, it gets a little heavy. Um, especially out here in the heat so um, but I was able to get it in there just you know use my feet and arms and everything so uh, I'll probably come back and just do the front you know I have to do water pump and all that and get oil and coolant and then start it up and see what happens so um, thanks for watching the video uh, this is probably gonna go to a next part I hate doing that but um, I'll have to come back to it so any questions, comments, leave them below. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one.